brake is bit loose but it doesn't jerks you once you start. hello and welcome you all to another blog of SS motors today we have the biggest pulsar ever the ns 400 okay though it has a very very similar looks with it is predecessor which is ns 200 but once you look closely you will understand it is entirely a different machine than ns 200 the be the headlight be the petrol tank be the rear portion you look closely you are definitely going to understand there are certain feature difference certain difference very small stylic difference that bajaj has given to this bike which which eventually makes it a different bike than a speed sensor ns 200 first observable difference is its headlight this headlight after watching this headlight i can tell you this is inspired by the venom character in the marvel studio okay see don't you understand it's the eye of the venom and it's the mouth of the venom i guessed it the bajaj designer taking their inspiration from the famous hollywood movies like if you look closely the n200 you can clearly understand that face was taken from the face of optimus prime from this throw i can tell you everything which will be clearly visible in the darkest road of the india i like the font I can give it 9 out of 10 easily in terms of design but although there is some quality issue see these things these things is very fragile fragile the plastic that are using here is not that high quality okay design is good but to make it the bike cheaper Bajaj focus on the qualities of the fiber I'm sorry but I had to tell it to you again I'm telling you that quality of the fiber has been decreased it's quite heavy it's 174 kg feels it, tackling the bike once you are not riding is a bit difficult so let's talk about the front wheel it is 431 mm front wheel which has a 320 mm front disc and with a I think for it is not 41 is 31 mm travel USD suspension system the tire size is it is 110 by 70 by R17 tubeless tire obviously you are getting an alloy wheel over here okay these are completely LED light there is no halogen bulb you are getting DRLs are there on shape of a thunder and you will get a projector headlamp this is a tubular street fighter handlebar this is the name given by the Bajaj and the switch quality is good okay and I, I, I will not tell you it is an extremely premium Swiss quality. Premium say thora kam. Acha Swiss quality. Hai. A mirror that made out of alloy. Okay. This is a pentagon mirror. It's not a circular mirror anymore. Now let's talk about the petrol tank. Okay. This is the petrol tank that had been clearly taken for Bajaj NS200. Okay. Though there is a difference. This portion is a bit different. Here you are getting a low quality pulsar batch. Okay, the pulsar batch could have been uh, more more quality prone. You are getting only 12 liter of fuel tank over here. Below the petrol tank, you see a alloy chassis. This is the very important one. It is light. It is a comp made out of composite material. It is a box shaped chassis which holds the engine over here. Okay, engine is clipped with this chassis. Okay, and because of this chassis, the weight of the bike reduced to 174 kg it is not metal and over the top of that you are getting a pad and here also you are getting a pad Bajaj providing us the feeling that once you hop on the bike you become the bike once I'm sitting the seat quality is really good really good seat quality it is not that hard even suspension also feels really good over here okay the rear suspension it is just beneath the seat okay it is a monoshock gas operated seven step adjustable suspension system apart from the original classic pulsar bajaj doesn't focus on the pillion seat but it had to understand this pillions are also as important as riders okay because of indians never go on a solo ride okay so please focus on the pillion seat it means the pillion seat is soft enough but is not wide enough okay now on, the, on top of that you are getting very conventional uh, grab handlebar that you are getting on the all the pulses and the rear you are getting a led tail light led indicator obviously this bike has hazard that means four indicator 
will blink together. This, this is a 220 mm disc brake which has been installed in the rear and obviously a box swing arm which is also lighter and stronger and you are getting a tire hugger thanks to Bajaj. Because of this the mods won't come out from the wheel. 140 by 70 by R17 section tubeless tire because this is the main thing which gives a bike its character. Okay, it is a 373.37 cc liquid cool 4 volt single cylinder engine which produces a whopping 40 bhp in 8000 rpm near about 8000 rpm and 35 newton meter torque in 6000 rpm. That's what I'm trying to tell you once you change the gear 5th to 6th and you want to jump from 130 kilometer to 150 kilometer per hour 35 newton meter torque will be delivered to your throttle because of this rpm and its compression ratio which is 10.9 is to 1 okay that is the character of this engine you are getting a manual gearbox which is six speed gearbox i will suggest you not to put a cheaper engine oil let's talk about the three short reasons to buy this bike if you love power this is the answer to you okay second reason though it is a naked sport it's pulsar right so you can do off-roading with this bike too second reason it's price uh, what should i say it is the cheapest sport bike ever made in the world it's a 2.29 lakh only on road price in malda okay now th that's why it throws a challenge to all the bike manufacturer of the world those who are charging 7 lakh rupees 3 lakh 6 lakh rupees for the middle weight bikes okay bajaj is giving all the premium features like traction control abs slipper clutch and all other lots of lots of features this bike have four modes road sport rain and off-road can you imagine this is a pure sport machine it has a gear position indicator it has 0 to 12 tachometer that means rpm meter it has a fuel meter which is also digital gear position indicator speedometer and more this is road sport rain and off-road so it says in refuel chip a bluetooth pulsar number speed everything everything is there con connectivity you can go bluetooth music you can control your music in your headset also which is not connected right now okay trip and bike trip a trip b bike info battery date service let's see just check it man it is extremely informative bike so this is a 400 cc machine but it doesn't jerk you once you start it really starts very gently okay but actually at third gear once i throttle up i can really tell you that the power is here whenever you need it i'm riding it very slowly at 33 kilometer power speed you can see the speed in third gear now i'm going to check how much pressure the engine can take i'm putting in fifth gear and put the engine speed down to see at fifth gear bike can easily roll at 24 kilometer per hour it shows the engineering of the machine the lowest of the lowest speed can be handled at the highest of the highest gear now i'm again in back in third gear even in the third gear picking up of the bike is really really easy okay you can see the traffic see power deliver na itna ekdam jhat se nahi hota jab bhi main throttle ghumata hu na ek do second late karke aata hai power Though it is a sport bike, then also power delivery is very, very gentle. See how convenient this is. The previous model of 400cc engine is not as gentle as it is. Okay, those are like uh, bully boys, but this is very gentle, very professional. Though I'm telling you that the suspension, I was riding four other bikes today. This bike has a greater suspension system than other. The suspension system is really, really comfortable than other. Be it the front suspension system, be it the rear suspension system. Now hit the brake. Chalo, rear brake. I'm telling you now, the bite of the rear brake is a bit loose. 
because of this kind of assholes we had to drive so much carefully okay now i'm going to check the front brake of the machine i'm not going to use the rear brake only the disc brake in the front front brake is really good though it is taking a split second time to giving a good bike okay high handle of this machine is really good man but i'm wishing that my bike that machine should have at least 15 liter of fuel tank capacity this has only 12 liter fuel tank capacity okay i wish this should this could go much much bigger in that case the bike weight also going to increase do ride in your comfortable zone don't push your bike unnecessarily okay i'm telling you you can easily cruise on this bike at least uh, 100 km can easily be done easily done on this bike and i check the six gear see man i'm really telling you the gear shifting is really 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 awesome easily this bike easily hits a, a 80 km per hour you don't have to put no effort at all easily you can cruise on 80 km per hour no issue man no issue at all but it has worked really really good on its on its engine engine is much much smoother than ever before okay now now i am really really surprised that and little bit of tense that people will not going to buy dominar any more because of this beautiful machine third gear you can go 40 km per hour now let's take it in fourth gear how much you can pull in fourth gear you can pull 62 km and 63 km per hour now in fifth gear you can easily take it take 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 it to 100 easily easily take it to 100 in fifth gear okay but see aaram se aaram se fifth gear mein aaram se sixth gear man this is a quite convenient motorcycle very very convenient motorcycle very very good engine okay i'm going to put it down it's not my bike so i'm not going to make any any experiment on this bike so this is all about pulsar n s400 i love this machine